today's video I'm gonna be showing you and giving you a lot of information how to paint the body of your RC car if you're buying a clear body such as this one right here this is a GT one um, one eighth scale all right uh, I'm gonna be putting this on the on the x-ray RX8 all right you're gonna need paint you just have a selected colors that you want to paint in this video I'm gonna be using this red here and I'm gonna be using white and maybe maybe black I'm not sure yet but I have all the colors that I needed here if I don't use white I might use titanium silver all right but you're gonna need a scissor such as this to cut the body if your body is not pre-cut also another scissor right here to cut the body this one has an angle and I'll show you where this becomes handy all right and you're gonna need a masking tape and you're gonna need a blade or they have a special blade to cut the tape but I, I have my blade I forgot to pick it up I'm gonna show you a blade that I'm gonna be using today but let's start off by uh, showing you where you had to cut this so let me take this out of the wrap and then I'll show you all right guys I got the body out here and inside the package you're gonna get the decals right here these decal goes all over the car all right, so this is what I'm going to be trying to paint. Only thing I do want to change is this white here. That's what I want to change. And that's one thing that I might have problem with, but I am going to try to change this to a titanium silver, this part right here. But anyways, if not, then I'll just use the white. Anyways, inside here, it's going to give you all the decals where they belong, right? These are all numbered, all right? All these are numbered, right? All these are numbered and here we have our paint and it'll tell you exactly where everything goes all right number by number right but common sense i'm sure you guys know where everything goes but anyways and uh it will even tell you if you're using a nitro engine to put a hole right right here and right there for the fuel tank and probably this is this is for the engine this is going to be for the fuel tank you're gonna have to put holes for the body front back but you don't have to go that far anyways let's talk a little bit more about cutting the body all right so you're gonna cut the body right along these lines so this is where your scissors will come handy so you're gonna cut all this you're not gonna see me cut this but I'm gonna cut all this and it goes all across just know your lines right and then you come back to it just don't cut into an angle where you shouldn't have to cut alright then you'll destroy the body you're gonna go straight angle all the way to the lower point I'm not gonna be putting no holes in the body because I don't need to even for the intent I'm not gonna put a hole I might but I'm, at this point I'm not but anyways um, this does have a cover over top so there's a clear cover do not remove that till you're done painting alright so once you're done painting, that's when you're gonna remove that little guy. All right, so let me cut this. I'm gonna use these scissors. You're not gonna see me cut, but once I have it cut, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a, the masking tape over there. And always, always paint the, the dark color first. So instead for, if I'm gonna use black, I would, I would paint black first. If not, then I'll use red. So since this one is gonna be red, it's gonna be the darkest color. That's what I'm gonna paint first, right? So I'm gonna cover up everything once I cut it. I'm gonna cover up the area of where the white belongs, right? So it's a little rooftop on the cockpit, the front here, and that's about it, all right? All right, guys, there I have the body cut, all right? If you have a die grinder, you can grind this a little bit. Right, but it's not gonna make it too much of a difference because your wheels are gonna grind it a little bit there. But I got it cut all around. All right, so next step is taking the masking tape, putting it on the inside. You see, there's a letter line right here, so that's gonna be the letter triangle in the front. And I'm gonna mask up the back end. 
So I am gonna paint red all over first because that's the easiest way. I'm gonna mask up the front windshield, the side windshield, and everything else is just red. This little guy right here is a decal, all right? So it's gonna be black in the back, white in the front, and this area is gonna be black also right here. So I'll be putting a masking tape all over. And once I'm done, I'll show you guys. Like again, it's gonna be hard for me to show you guys. All right, so just take the masking tape and you put it perfectly there. And then you put masking tape all over. And that's how you're gonna do that, right? And that's, let me do this. And then I can show you the rest of it, right? And these decals are gonna go last thing after you remove the clear, after you paint and you remove the clear cover of it, then we'll put the decals. All right, so let me get this done and then I'll show you. All right guys, I did some of the masking tape over here and I used a blade to put a little spice, splice. So let me just show you a little bit over here, a little bit of splice I put here. One hand is tough to work with, but there you go. See it? And this comes right off. And I'm gonna do the same thing here and it should all come off, right? Not all of it, I mean like the excessive. So I did mark it with the pen first and then I do have a small letter splice. I don't wanna damage the body with the nail. But there you go, you see that fine letter cut? And it came this way because there's a curve to the body here. But now you see the point how you're gonna do this and just peel it right off if you didn't get a good cut you might have to give it another cut so this one didn't get a good cut I think and I'll just cut it again but same thing here and then cover up all this front area right here and I'm gonna do the same thing in the back when I'm complete I'll just show you everything guys but as of now this is what I got done so far Alright guys, um, I'm all done. You're gonna see masking tape all over. Even over the triangle that I was here. The reason is because this car, the rear here, cannot really get tape around this, okay? Around this curve right here or inside because it's overlapped. So what I did was I taped the whole car up. You can see my triangle still in the front right there. Right, but, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this black. All right, so all this is gonna be black. This is gonna show up right here. And spoiler here. All right, it's all gonna be black. And then I'll remove the masking tape after a few coats. And I'll do the red. And then I'll do the white. All right, and just wanna tell you guys, every time, you, I'm gonna do about three coats of black here. I'm gonna just paint it. Make sure you clean this, the fingerprints right there, like you can see right there, there's fingerprints right there. Gotta get rid of the fingerprints, and every time you uh, paint, you have to let it dry for a little while, and then you come back and just push down on the tape, all right? So it doesn't get seep right through, all right? So that's it, it got dark. We're gonna do the rest of the paint job tomorrow, then we'll remove the masking tape, we'll paint it red, three coat, and then we'll do either white or titanium in the front. Probably gonna use this white right here, or I have a pro white, and I'm gonna use that red right there. And I have the titanium gun black. Well, not titanium, this is a, this is gun black. That's what that is. All right guys, let's wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be sunny, hot day. All right guys, um, it's nice outside, it's morning, I'm ready. Got my decals to the side. Got the body ready here. And I did not mention this guy yet. I, I do not like using these little guys right here. This is for the front of it right here. The triangle. And then you have, I am gonna use this on the windows. You do need to cover up the windows inside so you don't paint that area, okay? I like to use uh, this masking tape better because it sticks on. And this thing, if it comes apart, a mess guys but I'm perfectly fine the way it is but if you need want to use this use this I forgot to mention this but it's all right anyways I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna give it this um, nice good three coats right the first coat is gonna be very light 
So do find the angle. In here, I'm gonna try to go and over here, I'm gonna try to go and then I'm gonna try to get it this way, okay? Let it dry, come back again, and then let it dry, come back again, right? Make sure you do not have any openings that where this paint can seep in, okay? Like right here, I'm gonna put a little bit of tape right here and do push on it on every coat, right? So once you're done one coat, um, let it dry. After that, come back to do the second coat. Make sure you push down on the tape, okay? And like I said, make sure you do clean this, all right? Do clean this. If not, you're gonna be having a lot of contamination, all right? So let's go outside and do this. Okay guys, to clean, I'm gonna be using this cloth right here. And like I said, one hand, not a good idea. But this is good little cloth and this is perfect. I'm gonna clean it, then I'm gonna take it outside and we're gonna paint. All right guys, I'm outside and uh, got my paint right here. Make sure you shake it really well. All right. Make sure your surface is clean. Um, make sure you put something underneath it. I'm not worried about it because this is my backyard and um, the floor I really don't care about. And if we're gonna fix the floor up anyway, but do a good simple painting here. All right? Make sure you get the inside really well. And that should be enough, guys. All right, so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna give it a while. I'm gonna come back and do another coat. All right guys, as you can see, the sun has went away and I did put this inside so I don't get any dirt here, but it's time for me to put another coat. All right, this looks pretty good, and I'm gonna leave it there, and we'll come back to it, all right? All right, guys, this is gonna be my last round. Same paint. And after this, I'm gonna take off the masking tape, I'm gonna mask up the windows, and I'm gonna paint the rest of the car red. And then I'll have the front end only left, and I'll do that last round. Okay, this is gonna be my third coat right here, guys, third coat. Alright, and that's it guys, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to get to paint, remask everything and paint the body red. Alright guys, so it's done, alright, the good part now is when we remove the tape, right? So you take your time with tape, alright? All right, my phone is ringing. I'll be right back. Okay, let the phone ring, and we'll just continue. All right. Oops. All right. All right, we're gonna go down a little bit here. Right here. Alright, um let's take your time.
right, just take your time with it, guys. Just like I'm doing. And do not mess it up. You don't want to break the body. All right, so let me get all this off and then I'll show you guys everything. All right, guys, all done. Took off the tape. Made a mistake here. Don't worry about it. See that outside clear coat right here? The clear lens here, it came apart. So pay attention to that. Also, it came apart here, right here. So I'll put tape on the outside, on the outside here also. Everything else looks fine. All right, now I'm gonna take these right here these little guys I'm gonna put around the wind windows that one I'm not gonna touch because I like masking tape better than this right even though this is no problem but I already had it done it's okay you can use this triangle here if you have the same car but anyways all I need is one two three pieces to go one two three and that's it after that, I'm going to take it outside, I'm going to put a little bit of tape here, a little bit of tape here, clean, clean that's really good, and we're going to paint it, I'm going to do three coats, and then I'm going to paint that white, I decided to do white because these stickers are white, alright, so that's the reason why I'm going to paint that white also, alright, so let's wait, I'm going to set all this up, and we'll go outside. Alright guys, uh, I'm all done, got this maxed up, and I got my red paint here. So I'm gonna give it a one good coat, wait for a little bit, and then I'm gonna give it another touch after a while. First coat is gonna be light. Can you guys stay back a little bit for me, please? Alright, watch out guys, watch out. It's okay, it's gonna go away. Just get away, okay guys? This is That looks pretty good. All right, guys, there we have it. All right, so we're gonna let it dry now. Okay, guys, here comes coat number two. Make sure you push on your tape just in case any spot opens up but here comes coat number two All right guys, there we have it, all right? I'm gonna let this dry again, and we'll do coat number three, and that be it. All right guys, this is gonna be the last coat. Again, make sure you push on the tape, and so that way paint doesn't get inside. And it's gonna be my last coat. Alright, let me switch sides. Ah! 
All right, guys, there we have it. This was my last coat with the red. Let me double check any missed spots. And I'm gonna let this thing heat up really nice. All right, guys, um, I'm done here. Push the tape again. This is the only spot that's bothering me right there. All right, and that's not the masking tape. That's the, the white clear that comes with it. That's why I don't like it. All right, guys, so this is the one last piece I have. I have white color here. And that's it. And I'm gonna end this by painting the whole car internally, all right? This is gonna protect the rest of the colors nicely. All right guys, one last coat. And make sure you check the tape again and you paint it. Stay away, please. All right, guys, that's it. All right, guys, all done. Uh, made a smaller errors, guys. Don't do that if, if you have a chance. I was stuck with kids, so and I wasn't able to take that off. But we'll put a like some type of sticker there that should take care of that. A uh, little bit of mistake in the back here. There's gonna be a decal right here, but all this white stuff you see, don't worry about it because the best part is peeling the outer cover and. We're gonna take everything off and then we're gonna cut those decals All right you might not see me do it but just cut them out and put them on and I'll show you the finished product and these decals you do need to cut them according to the lines and put them on properly all right so that's how they're gonna go on headlights you got the windshield you got the canopy cover on top all right and side skirt and uh, not side skirt the side cover that goes here but time for us to peel this. All right, so let's go. You go on that side, I'm gonna be on this side. Okay. You're gonna help me take this apart. What apart? Um, there's a clear coat on top of this. So we have to peel it. You wanna help me peel it? Don't rip the car, then you cannot rip the car, okay? All right, grab it. And watch how shiny it's gonna be. You're taking it off. Take it all off. It's gonna look awesome as soon as it comes off. So shiny, wow, look how shiny that is, nice and shiny, that's like a, this is, this is pearl red, alright we do need to remove these little guys right here, slowly okay, because we don't want to peel the paint off it, so 
these covers come right off. This is the windshield. That's so cool. Perfect. Do you need to paint that some sort of black? Uh, there's a decal for the windshield. Alright, that's all. I got one more cover to come off. Look at that. Nice. Alright, so next, what we need to do is put some decals on this little guy. And that's about it. There's a little bit of paint that's leaked through. So I'll just clean that off. What's this? And that's it. I made a little error there, but that's fine. It's okay. I like the color. Came out really good. You guys that like it? so shiny. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Alright, so time for us to put decals. We're gonna have to cut the decals first. Decal. What? A decal. The decal are these stickers right there. Uh, Alright. Alright, so. More like a detail. Yep. Alright, I'm all done. There you have it. Alright guys, I'm all done. So I got all the decals in. Some of the paint that you mess up, you can cover up. Like the back front of the line here, all fixed, good. The little guy right, was right here in the front. If you look up close up, I put a little stick on the cover and that's it. Alright, all I need to do is clean up that from the inside and I'm all done. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like all my videos.